beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my time would be wasted. They got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. They might say hi, and I might say hey, but you shouldn't. It's me, Miss Amazing, coming back at you with part two of my tutorial on how to install cowrie shells. In the first to, in the first part, you saw me install using the rubber band method. And this time, I'm going to show you how to install with sewing. Um, the things that you need are the thread that you use to sew in weave, I guess. Um, Bobby pins, cowrie shells, oops, oops, a sewing needle, and scissors. Okay, so step one is you're gonna decide the box that you want the cowrie shell on which I've already sectioned my hair off and what you're going to do is you're going to take the prongs and you're going to slide the pronged part through your hair so that your hair is through the loop you're gonna get your cowrie shell and you're gonna thread it through the opening in the back. Okay. And you're gonna work this through. Work the cowrie shell. And you're gonna work the bobby pin through the cowrie shell. Excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. And this one doesn't want to seem to fit, so I'm going to get another cowrie shell. And I'm going to slide it through like a thread. Excuse my phone, guys. So you're gonna pull it through, which I've done. Like so. Now I'm going to take my thread and then just. You don't really need a lot, so. Okay. Now you're going to thread your needle. And when you purchase your thread, you want to purchase it as to match the color of your hair. Okay, let me just tie this off real quick. Okay, so I tied them up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some of the ends. Since I've picked the desired amount of hair that I want to loop, I'm going to start sewing. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the hair and you're going to make your first pass ouch you're going to sew through take the needle through both locks 
and ouch. I'm gonna pull it. And you can do the way that I sew mine is I go back and forth. Just go in one end. back and forth, just back and forth. And you're going to keep doing this until you feel that it is absolutely completely secure. And the color that I have is actually blonde. Um, I love wearing my hair blonde. Oh, I've always loved wearing blonde hair. And I really don't use this method anymore because I don't stay true to the blonde hair anymore. But I absolutely love blonde hair. And I've noticed that when I wear my hair blonde, I kind of have a little blonde moment every now and then. <laughs> okay, so let me just keep bringing it. You can see. You just keep bringing it back and forth. Like I said, you just keep going. Um, because it's here, it's dead here. You all know that, so it's okay. And let's see. You want to make sure that it's secure as far as how much thread that you do thread in and out of the actual lock. See, now it's starting to get difficult. So I know it's time to get ready to, oops, to cut the thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the thread closest to the needle. And I take this thread. I wrap it around once with my finger holding the thread to tie oops to be able to tie a knot. So what I'm doing is I've got my finger here and a thread with my the thread over my finger. Ah, can't see. Okay, so let's do that again. Thread it. We'll put it over my finger. Push it through. And tie my knot. Let's tie it one more time. Just for to be secure. Okay. So wrap it around my finger. And pull it. Okay. And then you take it, the remaining thread, and you cut it. And like I said on the first video, in my opinion, when you install cowrie shells, it's, you don't want to take them off because of the tedious activity that it takes to put them in. Now, see? It's not going anywhere. And I have one more thing that I to show you guys. If you guys aren't oh, sure if you want to put counter shells in, there are lock accessories and I love them. Okay, um, go to lockology.com and um, we got I got this one for free, but it's just copper wire spun around in a intricate design, and this one's actually. A little bit too too big for my hair because you um, pick it by size. But what you do is you sorry you just take your lock and you flip it. And like I said, this one is kind of big for my hair, but um, you just wear it and it just comes right off. 
I'm going to put the link to lockology.com down here. And you guys have a nice day. Bye.